Well, it, it kind of came about around about four years ago. Um, I was uh, quite, <laughs> let's just say I was working 60, 70 hours a week at work, uh, quite stressed, um, feeling quite depressed, didn't really know what I wanted to do in life, and unfortunately I suffered from what they call a TIA. Uh, which is a transient ischemic attack. Uh, so an incomplete stroke, I lost my eyesight, um, hearing, uh, and a numbness in certain parts of my body. Luckily, that kind of came back, but it started up a chain of events in me to try and get fitter and healthier. And um, I found running about three and a half years ago. It was a mate of mine that had to drag me down to a running club. And uh, I kind of fell in love. I was bullied for eight years of my life at school and um, unfortunately I was bullied because of my sexuality. Uh, I didn't know at the time that I was gay, I didn't know what it was. Um, when I found out I was quite scared, I uh, thought I'd be quite outcast so I decided to hide it. Um, unfortunately at the age of 18 it got so much that I tried to take my own life. Um, but it wasn't a cry for help. For me at the time, it was a case that I just didn't, genuinely didn't want to be here. Um, the fact that I felt like I'd failed at even being able to do that, I made a decision where I'd, I'd, I'd just hide who I was. And as I said, it manifested itself in a, a TIA when I was 29. And, and since then, finding running and finding out who I truly am and accepting that you know, has brought me to where I am today. And yeah, I think you know the message that we try and put out there is just, you can be who you want to be. You know, difference is a good thing. Um, it's really kind of positive to see that kids are being taught nowadays that, that difference is a positive thing, and that equality is, is something that they want to strive. You take on board something like this, you don't take it on for personal recognition and everything like that. You really have to ensure that the, the real wants of why you're trying to do something is it more important. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and for me, you know, I have a real personal connection and affiliation to the two charities that I'm raising money on behalf. And I suppose ultimately I've been through work. I suppose it's kind of, you know, if you looked at me four years ago, uh, I was 16 and a half stone, depressed and just out of, uh, you know, recovering from a TIA. Uh, I had no belief in myself, no, no kind of wants, aspirations or objectives. And then you fast forward to where I am today, I think the point being is that anything is possible. Just believe in it. Right then, let's see what happens. There we go. Why not? Should we have a bit of a run? Yeah, Why not? Yes, yeah, yeah. may as well. Let's yeah, your lunch break's on my saber. Yeah, yeah. It was over. 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 It was over.
Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>